gang, we're getting into it. The making of a black Manhattan with yeah. Brett Butler, the mixologist. Yes. Okay, man, where do we start with this thing? So why is it why is it a black Manhattan? Right? Yeah, yeah. As, yeah, as opposed to a regular. Yeah, regular Manhattan. Mm-hmm. We know it has rye, it has sweet vermouth and bitters. Very mm-hmm. simple, mm-hmm. very easy. Uh, a bartender named Todd Smith, San Francisco, 2007, mm-hmm. at a place called Bourbon and Branch, uh, mm-hmm. decided to switch the sweet vermouth with amaro. Mm-hmm. If anybody at home has never had amaro, it's amazing stuff. It's a very aromatic, herbal, bittersweet liqueur. Mm-hmm. And Averna is one of the best ever. Um, goes way back to Sicily, late 1800s. Actually sourced from Benedictine monks okay. uh, way back in the day and um, popularized late 1800s. Now it's just an amazing morrow. So they switched that up. That's what makes it different, black. It's a little darker than a regular Manhattan. It's gotcha. just so, so instead of less whiskey driven as I start pouring this, less whiskey driven, more bittersweet. Okay. So this is going to have flavors of caramel, honey, a citrus peel. It's just really, Man. really amazing. And this is, this is a rye whiskey we're starting with. This is a rye whiskey we're starting with, yeah. Um, Manhattan typically, old school, like back in the really traditionally, is made with rye instead of bourbon. You can interchange them, right? You can use uh-huh. bourbon, you can use rye, but traditionally it takes rye for a Manhattan. Okay. We are using our good friends at Hard Truth Hills. Um, somebody, true. I love everything they do, but oh, I hadn't yeah. had their rye yet. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was at Total Wine yesterday, and somebody led me. They said, you got to try this one. Mm-hmm. These guys are amazing. It's a really, really very nice, smooth, yeah, yummy rye. Nice. So we're going to do about... <clears throat> Three ounces of that, uh, one ounce of Averna, and again, this is a really combination. It's medium bodied. Mm-hmm. It has uh, a good combination of bitter and sweet, but it's also very light. So it's not nice. really bitter. It's just mm-hmm. a really good combo. Okay. Highly recommend this if you can find it. And then we're going to add some Angostura. These are aromatic bitters, a couple dashes there. Reagan's orange bitter, so we're going to add a little more citrus to this as well. And a couple dashes there. Now, <clears throat> this is something I threw in every cocktail I make that's kind of a riff on a classic. I gotta alchemize it. Oh, so yeah. I'm gonna add some chocolate bitters, some okay. Aztec chocolate bitters. So this is kind of be like kind of a dessert um, cocktail, if you will. That, we'll just that add a couple in there. Really good. <laughs> I always love chocolate oh, bitters. Yeah. yeah. And then what? we have all that in there. Um, my spoon is somewhere right over here. All right. Well, we're going to get a little mango. Go <laughs> wipe this off. Just a touch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Call an audible. Okay. So we're going to stir this for about 20 seconds. <clears throat> there's no juice. There's no egg white. There's no nothing in there. So you never really need to shake any cocktails that have just pure um, liquids in it. You're just going to stir it. A little bit of dilution is good. Stir it for about 20, 30 seconds. Nice. Boom. Just like that. Then... That's it. We're just going to pour it right into our coupe glass. See how dark that is? It's really oh, different yeah. than just a regular Manhattan. And and it's not just colored. Like, there's, it's jam-packed with some flavor. I think when you drink it and you smell, they teach you, most of our taste is smell. So when you drink it, you kind of smell the aromatics at the same time. It's mm-hmm. really going to play. And <clears throat> bourbon cocktails wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be the same without a Luxardo cherry. Of course. Right inside there. And there you have the black Manhattan. And there it is, folks. There you go, gents. All right.